Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf. Today we're having another look at a lighting system, uh, this time for Game Maker Studio 2, where we make use of layers and also look at how we can use cameras in order to fix uh, the issues we had with views. So the project we're starting with has a simple room with just a tile map uh, and a object that can pan the camera around, rotate it, and uh, this product would also work with a camera that can zoom in and out. So the first thing we're going to do is add a asset layer to our room and name it lights. This is where we're going to add all of the different uh, lighting images that we want to have in our room. And so we're going to drag in a couple of these sprites, change them, change their color, change their scale. You could also rotate them. Just have uh, the lighting set up like you want your room to have. So running the game now, we just see a couple of uh, sprites in the middle of our room. It really doesn't look very good. It's not really lighting. It's just uh, some sprites above our room. But what we want to do, first of all, is um, remove the gaps between each of the lights. Uh, we want everything to be black aside from where the lights are. You can also see that the lights are overlapping and kind of overwriting each other. What we want to do is have them augment each other as they overlap and so we're going to be using a, a additive blend mode to get that effect working. So we're going to handle all of our code inside a single object which we're going to name O light. Uh, we're going to add it to our room and name the new instance I light and that's uh, quite important so that we can reference this particular instance throughout our code without having to reference the object instead. So you first add a create event to the object, which is where we'll initialize the system. We want to get the ID of our light layer, and then we also want to create a light surface where we'll render out our lights. Now it's important that the size of that surface is at least as big as our view. You may want to make it even bigger so that it is a power of two if you want to run this on a mobile platform like your phone or maybe even the web platforms. We want to change where and how the layer is actually being drawn. And to do this, we'll define two scripts which are going to get called before and after our layer is drawn. We name these two scripts light begin and light end. We use the layer script begin and layer script end functions in order to tell GameMaker to call our functions before and after our layer is drawn. So starting off with the lights begin scripts, we first want to check that we are inside the draw event. And that is because this um, script will actually be called for every different draw event, including the begin draw and draw and the GUI draw. And so by doing this, we can make sure our script only gets called once. We then check to see if our surface uh, still exists. And if it doesn't, we want to recreate it. We use iLights.LightSurface because this script is not being called by our light instance, but rather being called by GameMaker. And so we need to reference our light instance. Now remember, we named our light instance iLight in the room. So this allows us to reference it directly. We now want to tell GameMaker to draw the layer onto our light surface. And so we use surface set target for that. We also clear our surface using draw clear alpha. Now we want our different lights to actually add on top of each other rather than just being overwritten when they're drawn. To do this, we'll use blend modes. Blend modes allows us to define how we get the new pixel from the pixel being drawn and the pixel being drawn onto. Here we're going to be using a BM add, which is a blend mode, which will add the pixel, the two pixels together to get the new color. This will give the effect of multiple lights blending together and becoming brighter. So at this point, all further drawing will be done onto the light surface and with the additive blend mode. Once our layer has been drawn onto our light surface, we want to reset our drawing modes and draw our surface to the screen. Running the game now, we see that all the blank places have been filled in with black and our lights do merge together to become brighter where they intersect. However, as we pan the camera around, we see that the surface doesn't actually follow our view. And as we rotate it, we see the drawing is offset. The problem here is that when we set our surface target, GameMaker will no longer use our camera. However, we still want our lights to be drawn uh, like they would be drawn onto our screen normally. 
Back inside the Lights Begin script, we first get our camera before we set our surface target and apply our camera again after we have set our surface target. This will tell GameMaker to use our camera even when drawing to our surface. The other issue is that inside our Lights End script, when drawing the surface, we are actually making use of our camera when we no longer want to use our camera as we want to draw a surface onto our screen and not to our world. The easiest solution to fix that is to call surface site target onto our application surface, which you can think of as the screen surface, uh, before drawing our surface, which essentially tells GameMaker not to use a camera. Well, in the game now, we see that as we pan and rotate our view, our lights still fill in our whole screen and they're being panned correctly, which is exactly what we wanted. The only effect left to do now is to get our lights to actually be drawn correctly onto our uh, existing scene rather than just overwriting it. To do this, we'll be using blend modes again. This time, we want to multiply our two colors together. That way, where our light surface is darker, we will get a darker image, and when we have pure white, we will just get whatever was underneath. To do this, we have to use the extended blend modes that are available in GameMaker, and these take two arguments. Now, blend modes actually work on our source and destination colors. We supply factors for them to be multiplied by, and then they are added together. What we want to do is multiply our source color with our destination color, and then we can simply multiply our destination color with zero. That way we get only our source and our destination multiplied together, and the rest is essentially zero. So in GML, this gives us GPU set blend mode, BM underscore desk color, and BM zero. If we run the game now, we see that our light surface and our game underneath is correctly being multiplied together, giving us the appearance of lights onto our room. What's great about this technique is that it works in pretty much any situation. You will um, basically have everything below our light layer be multiplied with our light layer, and, and it will work with any camera moving, scaling, and rotation. It can even work across multiple views, provided that your light surface is bigger than every single one of your views. If you have game elements that you want to be unaffected by the light layer, you can simply place them on the layer above our light layer and they'll be drawn as normal. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you have, please give this video a like and subscribe to see more and I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Maker tutorials.